Okay, so a lot of folks have been asking, um, how do I check rails for the for the rail core? It's been a long road. It started out with rails that felt pretty good because most of your rails will feel, you know, you do this and it feels pretty good. Now, if you do that and it doesn't feel pretty good, you could send it back right away. This feels like glass when I move at this at this speed. But so the the thing that becomes important is when you move it really slow, you can feel times when each when when the balls bind up in the in the carriage. You can feel it, you can watch it jerk. It's right like right there, you can feel it. Sometimes you can see it move the whole rail. It'll bind up. If your rail does that, it's got uh, it's gonna it's gonna cause artifacts. Now, remember that the early prints from the rail core in in Tony's gallery online were done with rails like this, right? So you can still get good prints, but we've steadily and incrementally improved the output of the rail core. And the primary changes I've made have been doing things like going from a rail like this, which which feels real good at high speed, and at low speed you feel these twitches. And they're they're locked up and move the whole rail. Um, and you feel those things like that. But notice that at these speeds, it feels like glass. You'll never feel any problems except, well, actually I did right there. When you change direction sometimes at this speed, you'll feel it. Now, when you switch to a, a rail like this, this is a um, Misumi rail, the SELB13. Uh, it comes pre lubed for the factory. You can see the white lithium grease in there. Um, you can see the hair it's picked up along the way. So, in any case, when you do this with the Misumi, you never feel that grabbing. And I don't feel individual balls changing, you know, in, in the bearing. Because the way they work, there's a loop of bearings. You can just barely see them down in there. Let me get my flashlight. You can barely see down in there. You can see the bearings. Anyway, and right outside... These bearings go in a in a circle through a hole down the inside of the uh, 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 down the carriage here. So they go down and they come around and they come back and they go down and they come around and they come back. And at any point in this, these end caps, a bad trace in here, whatever, can cause the bearings to bind and not run smoothly. And that's the kind of things we run into with cheap cheap uh, rails. Now. Uh, again, you can get cheap rails that will make good prints, but to get it, it, it's a it's a sig, you know an, a detectable improvement to go from uh, the good rail the good cheap rails that we had to start with to a Misumi or high wind rail that you you don't ever feel that binding. There's uh, there's some other stuff that uh, that that shows the difference. If you get a microscope in and look at look down in this track, um, down in this track, you'll see the difference in finish quality there. Um, the better rails are polished in there. The cheap rails are tend to be very rough. I'll, I'll try and get a couple of those pictures to stick in this video. But in any case, that's the that's the ultimate test I apply for whether a rail is, is rail core worthy or not. Can I slide it around along without feeling any, at, at slow speeds without feeling any grabbing or, and you definitely don't want it to, to feel like it's binding. Occasionally, uh, every once in a while, I'll feel, feel what feels like a ball bearing shift in places, but there's no no drag. It doesn't feel like a, a catch. Anyway, that's it. Um, thanks for watching.